What's up everybody? Welcome to Metal Remains Backstage. My name is Manuel and with me is my friend Carlos Cortez. Hello everybody. And our special guest for tonight, Eduarda from the band Glacia. Hi Hello, Eduarda. Hello everyone. Hi. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. And you? It's very nice to be here with you. It's a nice setup you have there. Thank you. What have you been listening to these days? Well, I've been listening a lot of styles of music because I, uh, I'm a music teacher. So since classic music to Sabaton songs, I'm a huge fan of them. Epica and some Nightwish. Great. <laughs> Eduarda, from our perspective, Glacia is a young band. It was formed in 2017. It has two full-length albums. How did you guys find such a solid, epic, and triumphant sound so early in the band's career? Well, uh, uh, that's the difficult one. <laughs> but uh, we all, uh, the six, had a, a lot of different uh, styles of music. So our keyboard player has a Hans Zimmer fan guitar, uh, dream theater, me, because I went to a Nightwish tribute for uh, six years. It helps me to, to get some influence in Nightwish too. So I think that it's what makes us very unique. It definitely shows uh, on the recording. I, I was telling Carlos that the musicality of the band is very progressive. It doesn't seem like it at first hearing because there's a lot of uh, symphonic sounds that involve you and, and distract you from what the structure of the song is like. But as a musician, I like that very much. And it brings a lot of layers that you can discover on repeated listenings to the record. So that's very nice and we, we really liked it. Thank you so much. We always try to not uh, be so uh, similar to what it has, especially in symphonic metal, but uh, we try to be very different in that same style, but it's not easy sometimes. Yeah, it's challenging, but we can tell your brown has a very unique and special sound. <laughs> Yes. So let's talk about Atargan. Mm -hmm. Your latest offering released on February 18, 2022. Where did the inspiration come from to create such a great and ambitious record? Well, Dave is the keyboard player. He has a special dream a few years ago about making a story by a, a soundtrack songs. And uh, we were uh, making some concerts still in the first album in Heaven's Demise because of the pandemic things, you know. Uh, we didn't finish all the concert dates. So we all stay in homes and uh, with nothing to do. <laughs> and we, we start thinking that uh, maybe it's better to work on that story soundtrack or just wait to see what happens. And uh, we start to composing Outer Gun about two years ago, one and a half, something like that, in homes. What was not easy at all because we weren't together at all. So, but uh, we always decided to be a story in that second album. And I think it's it all happens because, uh, you know, you start to playing and writing the songs, the lyrics, and uh, the story fluid, you know? Right. I think this is one of these records that you need to listen completely because yes. you can skip ahead and, well, that's how we knew about your band through one of your singles. So we listened 
to some of it before, but it's like watching a movie. And, and actually, my wife, while we were driving, she asked me, are, are you listening to an audiobook? Because it sounds like that, the narrations that, that you listen to between the songs, I think brings a lot of ambience and lore to what you're listening to. I personally loved the story. I was uh, very, very invested in getting to the end of it. And uh, I don't know, I think it's very special and it's very immersive and that comes even before talking about the music which is also very outstanding thank you so much wow <laughs> yeah that's the beauty of making a conceptual album because every track tells you a little bit of the story yes. not the whole thing and then you need to have all the pieces to make the full picture to make the whole puzzle so it's great. It just keep you focused and you want to know how the story ends. And that's, that's great. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're <laughs> it, was, it was not easy to write the story because uh, I think we did uh, write the end just uh, after the composing all the songs. But uh, I start to make some lyrics. I did lyrics too. And it was not easy because you have to be concentrated in that part of the story. So yeah. it helps me vocally. It helps me to do the intensity of the story to do the, the vocal lines too. It helped me a lot. And right. it's very uh, enthusiastic doing a, a story with, uh, with music. It was very cool to do it. <laughs> yeah. At the end, well, I don't want to spoil the story for fans, but let's say that two main characters are brought together at the very end. And again, with my wife listening to it, she tells me it's, it's like a telenovela when, when they <laughs> go go back to the to the beginning in a way. Uh, so it's very it was very exciting to listen to the story, also to the music, but the songwriting and the story crafting on it. It's very special, and I think people that haven't paid enough attention should read it off the lyrics because it's very creative, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is Thank very you. interesting. For the second and latest album, the band got signed with Scarlet Records. Uh, can you tell us a little bit how that took place? Well, Dave, the keyboard player, he has uh, a lot of emails from every record label, so... I think was uh, a lot of trading some emails and uh, it was very cool to get the response to the Scarlet Records because since the beginning, they were always very enthusiastic to sign with us. So we were very happy to be with them. Awesome. Yeah, they are a very good record label, and I think they are bringing young talent, starting bands that have a lot of potential and i think they're they're making good moves we're going to see many bands like yours blowing up in, in the future because you're having a very strong international projection uh, i think you're reaching out to many people uh, all across the world and i'm very hopeful to see you guys touring everywhere coming to madrid sp specifically it's very close by uh, i hope to see you soon here but also see you around the world because i know that people are noticing your music thanks to the internet thanks to the videos you're pulling up uh, because they are very good we saw two videos for this album will you be releasing any other soon we are uh, thinking about that, yes, especially a lyric one. And we are uh, not deciding yet if uh, it will be a third one yet, but okay. I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly how we discovered Glacia by watching the video of the amazing song Journey to Akbar, uh, where you collaborate <laughs> with Dream Buali from Algeria. How was it to film that video? Wow, it was great. I, I, I love making videos. It's very fun. Rim has a spectacular voice. It was very easy to work with her. And uh, it happened so in a simple way that uh, it makes you feel so wonderful. She's amazing. She helps me a lot with Arabic uh, accents because it's very hard to understand. And she helped us too to make the Arabic titles in the book of the album. 
Nice. <laughs> that was very helpful. And yeah. this is a sound that it's not only contained in this song. There are hints here and there uh, throughout the album. There are other songs that also bring this Middle Eastern vibe. And I think that's very fresh. It's something that not many bands bring, or if they do, it's all the way in. I think you have a good balance between classical, symphonic, European style music with this Middle Eastern vibe. It makes it very... Um, interesting mix. Yeah, very interesting and special. Yeah, sure. absolutely. Eduarda, on a personal level for you as an artist, as a singer, what will be your most ambitious goal to be achieved, your dream come through? Wow. <laughs> uh, for me, when I call a dream, for me, it, it has a lot of happenings there. For me, it's very important to have a music career that uh, makes me feel uh, an immortal or, or something to, to make... Uh, to leave a mark. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. That's that. Uh, I would like to have a mark in the, in music that makes people feel good when they heard it. So I think I'm in the right way, and I will work a lot to do that. I think you're right. You are in the right path to make your mark with the music you are creating. I think we can all see that that effort and all that energy that you're putting into the music you guys are creating is something beautiful and we really hope that everyone has the opportunity to listen to your music to see the videos and to experience what it is to listen to this concept album that is so amazing i have to tell you one thing for me Atergan in this moment it's the hardest thing i ever did and uh, it uh, frights me a little to do that in life so i am rehearsing uh, and we are rehearsal now every week because we we're gonna try to do in life what uh, the audience hears in uh, in home so it's not easy to do that right? yeah it's more than just performing a song it's putting up a show and i think yes uh, yes it brings a lot of other complications, but also the end product, I'm pretty sure it's going to be even better than just playing the song for the audience. So that's yeah, very that's like, that's like doing a Broadway show where you tell a story in the entire show. That's very complex. Yes, we, uh, we are trying now, we're starting to, to get some ideas how to make all the story in life show it. And it's, it's, it's not an easy job. <laughs> right. That will be so awesome to see. We're going to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when do you think or what's your expectation on, on when can we see you live? Uh, well, uh, I hope that it has uh, maybe about uh, this year. I hope so. I hope so. I really hope so. Because right. I think it's very cool. In this time that Ottergan is set now, uh, we are going to in a good boat, you know? Right, right, absolutely. What can you tell us about the name of the band, Glacia? I think that was maybe uh, after I went to the band, we were uh, searching for a name that uh, has some power of something demonic thing. And so we find Glacia, that it's a, a princess from the, the Seven Hells, so... We like it a lot, that uh, that name. Very she sounds powerful. hot. <laughs> yeah. Eduarda, it has been a pleasure talking to you today and to know more about Glacia. To end this conversation, we would like to offer you the opportunity to say whatever you want, whatever comes from your heart to the audience that is watching this interview. First of all, I would like to thank you for the inviting me to do this cute conversation with you. Thank you so much. And I'm inviting you all to, to hear our, our album, Outer Gun, that uh, it's now on Spotify too. Uh, if, you, if you want to listen, it's a, a really good story and I hope you enjoying it, hearing it. 
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We are the ones that are really thankful for the work you have presented because it's something that we're going to keep forever. I'm sure that this is going to be one of the records that I'm going to listen to constantly and that yeah. maybe uh, in a few years I'm going to go back to it with the same enthusiasm as uh, now because, uh, because it's a timeless story. It's something you can enjoy <laughs> now and tell your kids when you, when they grow up for everybody go watch the videos of glacia go listen to the album as i told you you need to read the lyrics because it's a very intricate story that you will absorb like a sponge because the music helps to bring all that together and give it a, a very special and unique flavor so go follow them on instagram uh, follow us as well and share this video so people can learn about this very special band Okay, so we will be very anxious to watch Glacia play live, but until then, stay metal! Yeah. They have beautiful eyes, cats. What's his or her name? He calls Azim, so it's very Arabic name. Wow, nice. okay. Azim. Keeping with the theme of the album and the band. Yeah. I had a female cat that names Glazio, so. Oh, wow. <laughs>